Hello, today I'll be discussing all about gravity and in particular orbits. If you've watched my previous videos, I'm sure you've heard about gravity before and probably have a clue what it is, but I'm going to go into more detail about how it works today. So first of all, what is gravity? This is a tough question because we don't actually understand what it is ourselves. We know that it is a force that pulls mass towards the centre of another object with typically more mass, but we don't know why. An example of gravity is like when we drop a ball and, and gravity pulls the ball's mass towards the centre of an object with greater mass, the Earth. We also know that everything creates gravity, but for objects with more mass, the gravity is stronger. So that is all you need to know about gravity itself, but there are still things that gravity can do, like create orbits that we need to know about. Orbits, according to Google, um, are the regularly repeated elliptical course of a celestial object or spacecraft about a star or a planet. So um, what this means is it is a circular movement of objects in space around a star or planet and we can see this in action as we watch the moon appear each day as it circles around Earth. But it took me a long time to figure out why the moon doesn't collapse into Earth. What is keeping it in orbit? Well, planets are constantly accelerating towards their star. Because rather than changing the planet's speed, the acceleration changes the planet's direction. This may be difficult to understand, but you have to know about velocity. Velocity is speed but with a direction as well, like 20 miles per hour north. Acceleration is the change in velocity in a certain amount of time. So this means when Earth orbits the Sun, it's constantly accelerating because it's constantly changing direction. We know this is true because gravity is pulling it towards the Sun at, um, because Earth is already moving, gravity just changes its direction. So now we both know how orbits work. In case you didn't know, a satellite is a body orbiting a planet. A natural satellite is anything that humans haven't put out in space, like our moon. An artificial satellite is your typical satellite that we use to watch TV that we have put in orbit, but how would we make a satellite and be sure it won't fall out of orbit? Well there is a, there is a rule with orbits that the closer you get to the star, the stronger the gravitational force is. This means that if an object orbiting, if an orbiting object is very close to the star, then it will need to be accelerating a lot more than an object who is further away from the star in orbit. The animation I am showing you now is a, comment, is a comet with a very oval shaped orbit. You see when it gets close to the sun, it moves faster to stay in orbit. And when it is further away, it slows down. From this, you can make the statement that if the velocity of a stable object changes, then the radius of an orbit must also change. There are two types of satellites. Well, we, we know we've already got natural and artificial, but then there are two types of artificial satellites. There are satellites in low polar orbit, which pass over the poles. They orbit between 100,000 metres and 200,000 metres. I don't know why I'm saying I don't know why I'm not saying kilometres. 100 kilometres and 200 kilometres above the Earth's surface, taking around 90 minutes to make each orbit. The Earth spins beneath the satellite as it moves, so the satellites can scan the whole surface of the Earth. This makes them useful for monitoring the weather and the Earth's surface, and also spying. Then there are geostationary sa satellites that have a different path to polar satellites as they are in orbit above the equator. The height of their orbit is 36,000 kilometres. 
it's just the right distance so that it takes them one day to make each orbit. This means that they stay in a fixed position over the Earth's surface. And this means that they can be used to transport information like GPS data and TV data. They must both be at different velocities to stay in orbit though. Geostationary satellites must be slower than satellites in low, in low polar orbit because they are further away from the Earth. Otherwise, this might happen. Um, yeah. But anyways, I'm sorry this is a bit short, but if you're having trouble understanding this, then reading over my transcript, which I put in the comments, might help, or you can always read um, the GCC AQA Physics Revision book, or visit BBC's page on Orbit. The link is in the description. Thank you for watching. I hope you found it interesting and also useful.